thank you for the opportunity for me to be able to share with others how wonderful uh, this program is. But let me tell you about my story. In thinking about this, I realized that my relationship with food was horrendous and so very wrong. And the reason for that is probably at around 16, and because I'm the age I am, Twiggy, this little anorexic kind of a gal, was all the rage. And so uh, buying clothing that was straight up and down uh, was what you needed. And here I am, the Italian uh, shapely uh, girl, and then eventually the woman, and I'm still trying to be this small, tiny person. And I realized that to be small and tiny, I would have to deny myself food. So I, at any moment in time, could tell you the calorie count on anything that I put into my mouth. That was so harmful to my body. It's so harmful to my mind-body connection. And I suffered all this time with that, but I don't know if anybody would know that because I could buy fashion that would complement the shape that I was in, camouflage that didn't work, accentuate what did work. And so I inched up in the sizes of that style from sizes small and medium to large and extra large. I still have in the back of my mind that I still have to control myself 100% of the time. Otherwise, and I think I described it is that I always felt that I was one cookie taste to be 300 pounds. It was never going to be like I was going to inch up. I was just going to be 300 pounds because I did have a sugar addiction and uh, to my body, my body likes sugar. Maybe some bodies react indifferently, but I knew that about myself and I would be like some other individuals who would sneak the cake after the party, not eat it during the party, but I would need to have that because I had tasted earlier and I went on. So I didn't feel like I needed any structure like what Dr. Jenny was proposing. I thought that I could go to Noom, Weight Watchers, I could find, the answer was out there. And I was so privy to a lot of the Slender for Good information because Jenny had me review it from a marketing standpoint. So I knew about it. And I said, I, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. But obviously, and I didn't want to share with these wonderful women and with Dr. Jenny, but I really needed to do that because in that safe zone, we're able to reveal those innermost difficult pieces of our relationship. So I want to say this, that I was living in denial, denial of happiness, denial of my body reacting to the world, denying the freedom of my mind to be in the world, to now I look at my life in abundance the abundance of food and choices that are here for me because of eating in this manner, the abundance of interactions that I can have with others because I can sit down to a meal and make my food choices that I say, these are the foods that my body likes. My digestion is happy. I am being cared for, for all those little wonderful cells of my body who were screaming at the top of their lungs, I'm sure, saying, what are you doing? I need energy. I need fuel. I need this. You want to do all these things and we don't have the energy for it. So when I look at my life in abundance, as opposed in denial, I have a healthy body. My sleep is uninterrupted. Uh, my skin is better. <laughs> it's glowing. I do not take any pain reliever. I, I was into pain reliever to the degree that it injured my liver. So I had to move these away from myself. 
I couldn't really move because I had so much inflammation in my joints. And now I am doing the normal kinds of activities. Plus I work around my house. I decorate Christmas decorations up and down, outside and inside. I do my garden uh, and I do it without pain. I'm able to be with my youngest grandson who is seven years old and totally active and we play outside, inside. And I have that energy. I dance with my husband. I am able to be engaged and enjoy other people in my life because I think I'm finally beginning to love myself enough to care for it in the manner to be this vital person. I can go into a store and know exactly what I need. Or even better, I can now order it online and have it delivered to my home without having to be called to by those things that I know will injure my uh, systemic good health. I'm calmer. I'm at more at peace. I'm not second guessing myself because why? I took this big piece of guessing of my life away from it. So now I'm here and everything can grow from there. These healthy habits have allowed me to lose over 30 pounds, and I'm not done. I've gone from size 14 to a size 8. I've gone from large and extra large tops and whatever to mediums, and many times all my tops are now smalls. I'm Italian. I may never be a tiny small in my hip joints, uh, but I'm working on it. I'm happy in the, in the journey. By the time I finally accepted the fact that this brilliant woman, Dr. Jenny, was in my zone and that maybe what I had read from what she had shared with me earlier and that I'm not able to do it alone, that this woman had something in place from her own journey from her own journey and her own research. And because of her scientific researching kind of mind, which is not my mind, but is hers, thank God, uh, that I would be able to go on that journey with her. In here, I'm fulfilled. My food does that. My sales are happy. And of course, my husband is happy because he shares this life, especially during COVID, even more closely with me. And uh, it's a loving space to be in because I've learned to love myself and I didn't do it alone. I did it with Dr. Jenny and all these fabulous women who are honest, authentic, and sharing. It's a wonderful place to be at this time or any time to get started because the results are not that you're going to fit into the bikini the results are that you're going to fit into life. And every moment you are going to feel the best that you can be. And it is a process. It was a process to put, to get us to this point of realizing we needed to do something. And it is a process of healing. And we do it through mind, body, and with guidance of Dr. Jenny.